Hi, Jose. Thank you very much for this, for, for this interview. Could you please tell us about your book? Well, it is a pleasure to be with you. I admire what you are doing in Turkey. You are a, a great futurist and your books are fantastic and they have to be not only in Turkish, in many other languages. Thank like you. my book now that is also in Turkish. Um, Olomouz Insam, and forgive my Turkish, uh, <laughs> it's about uh, immortality. The original name is The Death of Death. And uh, it has a subtitle, The scientific possibility of physical immortality and its moral defense. In the book, I argue that we are reaching the technology to rejuvenate people and to live indefinitely. And why we have to support it, because ethically, morally, is the best thing we can do. Today, in, in our planet, two-thirds of the people die of age-related diseases, uh, like Alzheimer's, uh, heart attacks, cancer. Uh, two-thirds of the people die of that. Uh, it is true that there are other causes of death, like uh, obviously AIDS, accidents, wars, terrorism, climate change, etc. But you add all of those and they represent only one-third of the deaths, while age-related diseases represent two-thirds of the deaths in the planet. So our enemy, of course it is um, wars, terrorism, AIDS, and all of that. But our main enemy really is aging. Aging is the common enemy of all of humanity because you are aging, I am aging, everybody is aging, and we are all dying of aging. Thank you. <laughs> You're relieving us. What shall we do? What shall we do after reading your book? You, you say that we may not die. Yes, I believe that we will have rejuvenation technologies to be younger in the future and to remain younger. In fact, in 20 years, I plan to be biologically younger at age between 20 and 25 because the objective is to live indefinitely young, not indefinitely old. No one wants to be old forever, but if we are, stay young forever, it's a different story. And um, the proof that this is possible is because there are immortal cells, immortal organisms, and we are discovering why. Why cancer cells, for example, stop aging? Cancer cells do not age they discover how to stop aging. So cancer cells are called biologically immortal, but they are bad immortal cells. cells. But we have also good immortal cells, which are germ cells. The reproductive cells that you and I and all humans have, they are also biologically immortal. That means that they do not age. Our germ cells do not age. And there are also small organisms like the immortal jellyfish and some hydras and some medusas that also do not age. So the proof that immortality is possible is that it already exists in nature. There are cells and small animals that do not age biologically. And we are discovering why. We are discovering how cancer found out how to stop aging. You know, it is not that complicated because cancer cells discovered that and cancer didn't go to the university like you and I. <laughs> and now we have the technology to discover what cancer did. Very nice to hear that. You, you say that within 20 years, uh, we can cure cancer totally and uh, we can handle, solve this problem completely. It is a great hope for humanity, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, the war on cancer actually be began in the USA in the 1960s, but we didn't have the technology at the time. Also, we didn't understand the mutations that stop aging in cancer cells. But now that we can sequence the human genome, we can discover those mutations and understand how cancer stops aging and how germ cells also do not age or why the immortal jellyfish are immortal. Because there are different types of jellyfish, some jellyfish that do not age, and some jellyfish that age. And now we can compare the genome and find the causes of aging and the causes of not aging. We live in incredible times. We are discovering so much in science and technology. And I like to say we are between the last mortal generation and the first immortal generation. So this is the best time to 
be alive and to remain alive because in the future we might become immortal we might become younger and live indefinitely young for as long as we want very good uh, you say when we are uh, having pictures photographs you are saying something to us could you please repeat it Yes, uh, we should take pictures and videos so that w when we see them again in 20 years, we will remember how old we are today. <laughs> how old we are today, because in the future, we will be younger. So it is good to remember when we were old today. It is very nice to hear. Uh, Jose, last two questions. One is, uh, I know that you are a close friend to uh, legend to Ray Kurzweil and you formed the uh, you founded the uh, Singularity University together with him and you said that a few days ago you were together with him do you have any gossip about him uh, yes that he wants to be immortal <laughs> uh, that he's 75 years old and he doesn't plan to die and I repeat, 75 years old and he doesn't plan to die. Why? Because he talks about two dates. The first date, which is longevity escape velocity between 2029 and 2030, mm -hmm. which is only eight years away. So he believes that if he makes it the next eight years, he will gain an extra year per year he survives because life expectancy keeps on increasing. So after 2030, most people will gain one year per year they live. That will make them live long enough to live forever, but still aging, still aging until 2045, when we will have rejuvenation technologies. He writes all of this in his new book coming out next year, The Singularity is Nearer. The Singularity yeah. is Nearer, which is the continuation to his best-selling book in 2005, The Singularity is Near. Now it is nearer. And he keeps his two dates, 2029 to 2030, longevity escape velocity, or the Methuselarity, the singularity wow. of Methuselah. And then 2045 at the latest for rejuvenation technologies. Great news we received from you. You made my day. <laughs> and last thing, what do you want to say to your Turkish potential readers? Well, I explain it all very well in the book. Um, Olomon Insam, uh, uh, immortal human, and uh, I explain the science behind rejuvenation technologies, and I explain why this is the number one problem of humanity. And not only the one big problem of humanity, the biggest dream of humanity, because the oldest book in human history was written in Mesopotamia almost 5,000 years ago, and it is the Epic of Hilgamesh because Hilgamesh was a king in Sumeria, in Mesopotamia. He wanted to be immortal. The first book ever written by humans is about immortality. And then in Egypt, the pharaohs of Egypt and the book of the dead in Egypt is about immortality. We humans always wanted to be immortal, but we did not have the technology until now. So now is the time to become immortal, to rejuvenate, to fulfill our dreams in a better planet with uh, much more abundance, with um, a fantastic future ahead. So don't die, please. And especially not now, because <laughs> we are so close to immortality. Thank you very much. Uh, you are saying so, so nice things. And thank you very much uh, for this interview and the book itself. Thanks. Thank you.